In this video, we're going to focus on simplifying complex fractions. So here is an example of one. 3 over 4 plus 5 divided by 6 minus 1 over 4. A complex fraction is basically fractions within a larger fraction. Now the best way to simplify it is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the smaller fractions within the larger fraction. In this case, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4. So let's distribute 4 to 3 over 4 and 5. 4 times 3 over 4. If you multiply these two, 4 is basically 4 over 1. The 4s cancel and you get 3. Next, we have 4 times 5, which is 20. And then we have 6 times 4, that's uh, 24. And then 4 times 1 fourth is basically 1. So 3 plus 20, that's 23. 24 minus 1 is also 23. 23 divided by 23 is uh, 1. And so that's it for that expression. Now it's your turn. Try this example. 2 over 3 plus 8 divided by 5 minus 3 fourths. Go ahead and simplify this fraction. So what should we multiply the top and the bottom by? So notice that we have a 3 and a 4. If you're not sure, simply use 3 and 4. Now you can make it 12, but I'm going to separate it as 3 and 4. So what's 12 times 2 thirds? If we write it separately, that's 2 thirds times 3 times 4. So notice the 3's cancel. And what you have left over is 2 times 4, which is basically equal to 8. So that's going to be the first term. Next, we have 12 times 8. 12 times 8, if you remember your multiplication tables, that's simply 96. You can do it one step at a time. You can say 8 times 4 is 32. 32 times 3 is 96. Now, 12 times 5, that's 60. And 12 times 3 fourths, let's write it out. That's 3 fourths times 3 times 4. The 4s will cancel, and we're going to have uh, 3 times 3 left over, which is 9. But don't forget about the negative sign. Now, 8 plus 96 is equal to 104. 60 minus 9 is 51. So the final answer is 104 divided by 51. 